Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to edit camera shake into your footage in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna take footage that originally looks like this, just a very, you know, tripod shot, nothing going on here. And we are going to end up making it look like this, where it looks like that a camera, someone was actually holding the camera for this shot. And this is actually really simple to accomplish. We're actually gonna be using warp stabilizer of all effects to do this, sort of a reverse warp stabilizer. So let's get started and I'll explain it along the way. First thing we need to do is we need to create a sequence with our footage in it. So in this situation, what I have is this file right here. We're going to change the sequence settings for it. And you see it is just this, this long sort of uh, footage here. I have this posted on my other channel. It's just sort of like a ambient sort of video. Uh, I'll, put that, I'll put a card up if you wanna check that out. But so we have this right here. And what we wanna do is we want to add some camera shake to this. So what we need to do is we need to find literally any clip in the world that has camera shake. You can find this on YouTube. You can just record, you know, go outside and record something. You can record your desk. You can record anything as long as there's some proper contrast and warp stabilizer can sort of figure it out. And so in this situation, what I have is something that's completely and totally um, different than the other footage, which is this right here. And so it's just walking into a temple and you see there's some camera shake along the edges. It's got that sort of bounce in the move and that's what we need, that's all we need. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto this footage and then I'm just going to make sure that my other piece of footage doesn't go longer than this one. So we'll just cut the end right there and now they're all the same. So it doesn't matter that this one's smaller than the other one, that doesn't matter at all. Um, we can make it bigger if uh, we want to, to sort of make it fit a little bit bigger. So we'll put that like right there and now it fits perfectly. But what we need to do now is we need to actually nest the footage. So we need to make this one piece of footage. So we're going to highlight this, we're going to right click, and we're gonna go up to nest right here. It's gonna create ourselves a nested sequence. We can name this like uh, camera shake or really anything that you want. We'll, we'll leave the extra eye in there. And we'll click on this. And now what we have is the only the top piece of footage is showing because that's what's showing right here. So now we're gonna go over into the effects tab where all of our effects are. And we're gonna just search for warp stabilizer right here, which is warp stabilizer VFX under video effects distort warp stabilizer VFX. Drag and drop that onto our new nested composition or new nested uh, sequence. And it's going to start analyzing the frames in the background. Uh, what I wanna do is turn off the motion and then turn this to position, scale, and rotation. Reason being is that we don't want that smooth motion. We want the actual camera shake. We don't want it to try to figure out how to smooth that out. So we're gonna turn that to no motion. And then in the position, scale, and rotation, we don't want it to warp the edges and make it look all sort of distorted. What we're trying to get is just the raw position, scale, and rotation information from this piece of footage. And we're trying to then transfer that over to the other piece of footage. So I'm gonna let this go through and I'll be back. Already it is finished up stabilization. You'll see that if we play it back, it's created this sort of stable view on to the original footage. However, that's not what we want. So let's double click on this and go back into the footage. What we're gonna now do is unclick this right here. And what this is gonna do is now when we go back into the original footage, the warp stabilizer is going to be basically correcting for this one. It's gonna be moving the footage left, moving the footage right, zooming it in, zooming it out, to try to correct for the motion in this, which is what makes this one look so smooth after we add the warp, stabiliz uh, warp stabilizer on. However, we're saying, we're now turning that off and saying use all of that information that you just grabbed for that piece of footage and use it now for the bottom piece of footage. So now this one does not have the same motion as this one. So basically what it's doing is every time this one moved left, this one will now move left. And we basically just copied the camera shake from this footage onto the bottom footage. And now in the final form, we have it looking like a natural camera shake because it was a natural camera shake that we just transplanted onto this new footage. And now there you have it, we have ourselves moved from a tripod shot to a very realistic looking handheld shot. And like I said, all you had to do is use warp stabilizer of all effects to do it. Now, don't ever click the analyze button again. Once you click that again, it's going to reanalyze for this new footage right here and this will become you know, a tripod shot again. So once you have it all set up, just you know, don't mess around with any of this anymore. You're now good to go and you now have your camera shake ready to move. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.